Have you heard these reports of loss of smell and taste from patients with COVID-19? Well, as the manager of a laboratory that studies the psychology of the sense of smell, it certainly perked up my ears to hear these reports, as well as the ears of other researchers at the Monell Chemical Senses Center. In fact, during a recent virtual journal club held at Monell, postdoctoral fellow Federica Genovese was able to capitalize on scientific articles that were recently published connecting COVID-19 with reports of smell loss. Side note, how amazing is it that we have scientific publications about a pandemic coming out in real time during that pandemic? Bravo, science. Bravo. Back to Dr. Genovese. She was able to frame the current reports of smell loss or dysfunction reported with COVID-19 within a larger framework of literature that exists on smell loss or dysfunction from post-viral infection. Fortunately, that literature shows that patients with smell loss due to post-viral infection recover. That is, only a small portion of people who suffer post-viral smell loss lose their sense of smell permanently. But what's going on here in the first place? Considering the timeliness of her presentation in recent circumstances, it was suggested that Dr. Genovese record a video version of that presentation. So if you'll indulge me, I'd like to summarize the 35-minute presentation that Dr. Genovese, Dr. Dalton, and myself worked on because I think it's that good. I think it's so good, in fact, that I recommend that if any part of this particular summary piques your curiosity or interest, that you go and check out Dr. Genovese's 35-minute presentation on COVID-19 and smell loss. And of course, you'll be able to find the link in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and start with the take-home points so that you know what it is that's going to be presented. And then I'm going to present it. And then I'm going to tell you what I just presented. It's going to sound very similar to this. One, we should expect to see reports of smell or taste loss or dysfunction during the current outbreak of COVID-19. Why? Well, reports of smell loss and dysfunction are common among patients who are suffering from an upper respiratory tract infection that's caused by a virus. And COVID-19 is just such a virus that causes upper respiratory infections. Two, a majority of patients who suffer post-viral smell dysfunction recover or improve over time. Yay! And this phenomenon has recently been confirmed within the recently published literature on COVID-19 and smell loss. Three, the smell loss or dysfunction that occurs with post-viral upper respiratory infections can be accounted for by an infection of the olfactory epithelium. Oh, this is a small layer of tissue that lives in the deep, dark parts of your sinus cavity. It's where odor molecules have to travel in order to make connection with your odor receptors. And this olfactory epithelium can be infected by a virus like COVID-19 through its supporting cells, which are responsible for the health and homeostasis of the olfactory epithelium. Nice weather. Oof. Dr. Genovese began by talking about smell loss. And smell loss is just one symptom that falls under the more broad category or umbrella term of olfactory dysfunctions. And your sense of smell can go sideways on you two different ways. There can either be an obstacle or blockage in the airflow from your nostrils to your smell receptors called conductive smell dysfunction, or there could be damage to the tissue, receptors, or pathways that are responsible for processing odor information, which is called sensory neural smell dysfunction. Sticking with sensory neural smell loss, 23% of these cases are caused by upper respiratory infections that are themselves caused by a virus. Only a minority of these cases include the total loss of smell, known as anosmia, while a majority of these cases involve just a partial loss of smell known as hyposmia. The literature shows a majority of the cases of upper respiratory infection due to a virus recover over time or improve over time, regardless of whether it's anosmia or hyposmia. With this foundation in smell loss due to upper respiratory infections due to a virus, the stage was set for Dr. Genovese to talk about the coronavirus. It's a happy puppy. She reviewed the coronavirus in general, 
and then talked more specifically about smell loss due to COVID-19. In reviewing the basics on coronavirus, she offhandedly mentioned that the corona in coronavirus has to do with the crown or halo of spiky thingies that stick out of the virus molecule itself. Apparently, there's a whole family of these kinds of viruses that have the spiky thingies sticking out of its membrane, including the common cold, as well as SARS, which was responsible for an outbreak in 2003. In fact, the current novel coronavirus is a version of the SARS virus. Dr. Genovese used this background of smell loss and the coronavirus to springboard into recently published scientific articles from Italy and Iran connecting smell loss with the current novel coronavirus. The Italian study showed that a third of patients hospitalized for COVID-19 reported some form of dysfunction in their smell or taste, while the study out of Iran showed a significant correlation between reports of smell loss and confirmed cases of COVID-19. Not surprisingly, and in line with existing literature, the Italian study showed that reports of smell and taste dysfunction improved over time. To address the cause and mechanism of action for smell loss reports due to COVID-19, Dr. Genovese then began to review another set of literature recently published about the molecular biology of COVID-19 infection. Have I mentioned yay science yet? Yay! In reviewing this literature, Dr. Genovese explained how COVID-19 infects cells by interacting with ACE2 receptors and how this ACE2 receptor pathway of infection could lead to peripheral damage causing smell loss by infecting supporting cells that are responsible for the overall health and homeostasis of the olfactory epithelium, where your receptors live. Boom. So there you have it. In as pithy and bumper stickery a way as I could possibly muster, considering the information-rich presentation that Dr. Genovese gave. So I started by telling you what I was gonna tell you, and then I told you. So now I'm gonna tell you what I just told you, and it's gonna sound like this. One, we should expect to see cases and reports of smell loss as a symptom of COVID-19. Two, patients who report smell loss due to COVID-19 improve over time. Three, the proposed cause of these symptoms of smell loss is due to damage to the actual tissue where your olfactory receptors live. Again, if anything about this little pithy presentation piques your curiosity to know more about smell loss and COVID-19, I implore you to go to the Monell YouTube page and watch Dr. Genovese's presentation. I have the link below as well as the sources to all of the articles that I mentioned in this particular little pithy bumper sticker jam. If you wanted to know more about the Monell Chemical Census Center or the research that we do, please go to the Monell website, www.monell.org. There you will find links about research that we are doing with the Global Consortium for Chemosensory Research. Also, my lab, and by my lab, I mean the laboratory of Dr. Pamela Dalton, of course, is collecting data about smell loss and COVID-19 infection as well. So if you're interested in participating in a study that involves scratch and sniff stickers with responses that you give online, please email us at smellstudy at monell.org. All right, stay well, people. Stay centered. And if you can, stay home. Thank you.